no budget, biggest fish, pawn shop challenge. Yes. Let's go. Watch this. I'm about to catch a five pounder right here. This cast. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. gosh. Dude, Dude, it looks big. Oh! No way. Oh my gosh. You got a big one? Got one. Got one. Oh my gosh. Dude, right. this is my best day of fishing all year. Oh. Got him that time. Stay on, baby. Hey, yo, folks. What's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment is popping up down below. Let's go subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment down below. This video for your chance to be the next video's comment of the day. Today, we are here with my boy Dangling with Dev. I don't want to yell. <laughs> subscribe! So, guys, Dev and I were driving to one of our ponds fishing for another video, and we drove past this bright green pond shop. I don't know if you guys can tell. How can you not tell? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's massive. <laughs> and we already saw fishing rods just from the street, Fast. so we plopped a fat U turn. I'm just here because they're hiring, and Norm doesn't pay me, so I hope to get a job while you hope to get a fishing reel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to apply too. <laughs> For everybody who's new, we've done a couple of these pawn shop challenges before. And they're we popping don't... up here, 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 here. You're welcome, Zade. <laughs> the last one we did a couple of weeks ago, and it like reminded me how cool pawn shops and thrift shops and stuff were. We spent $1,000, but only got a $30 rod and reel combo, thanks to Lojo and Ao for that. After that, I was like, I want to go and spend my own money in the store and get some cool stuff. And no better place to do it than in Florida. There's so many fishermen here. There's more water than land. And then we're going to see who gets the biggest fish on whatever we find. But the rules are, it's only in the pawn shop but we're gonna have no budget and we already saw fishing rods in the front there's probably gonna be some some good options in here oh, yeah. for us to choose from i mean when you drive past a pawn shop like this it's, you just gotta bro, stop it's, it's googan green, green <laughs> it's googan green what code do they use on uh, google squad.com code norm dude you already know the deal <laughs> it's not that code Devin. Dang this is what we saw from the road was just tons of fishing rods here so let's go ahead and enter the store all right guys dev and i are here inside the uh inside the pawn shop we walked right past the fishing rods and reels because something immediately caught my eye do you guys know how many pounds of thrust this is how much does this cost if i break it i just i don't know how to use these so is this what you pull back yeah <laughs> okay Oh yeah, that's tough. <laughs> you gotta have some muscle to do that. I'm not that strong. So I've been wanting to do a little bit of hunting, maybe. You hunt? Yeah, I just, oh my God. <laughs> I like fishing. I figured I'll probably like hunting too. Like it seems to be a thing that goes hand in hand. Does it? I thought it was like a rivalry between hunters and fishermen. It might be like that, but you know, I'm willing to do both. And I have so many friends who go hunting guys like Lojo, Ayo does a little bit of hunting too. Oh, yeah. And Fact they so. keep telling me like, Norm, you gotta go. But what I did do on Guggen Squad was a shooting challenge, like not at animals, but just like a target practice oh yeah like ski shooting would you go with me dev like go do some I'll target pro you. like i gotta get my first uh my first weapon all right guys in two weeks <laughs> i love how you change it up every time two weeks <laughs> the light goal for that is going to be ten thousand. 143 likes. And if you do that in two weeks, I'll also do it in push-ups. You guys heard the man. <laughs> push-ups and we're gonna go bow fishing and hunting or whatever the heck Norm comes up with. Oh my gosh, do you see this? Are you kidding me? I did not know that they had <laughs> trolling motors. So a little teaser, I don't think this video is out yet when you guys are seeing this one. I've been modding that, the world's biggest John boat we bought and I just bought like the most expensive trolling motor for it. It was a, like a lot of money. And I so wish I would have seen these because these are way cheaper but they have like the foot pedal and everything. And mine didn't even come with a foot pedal. So I had to buy that all separate. <laughs> Put that yeah. up. New intro song. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, what we are here for is the rods of reels. And they have like brand new reels still in the case. And then they also have a ton of uh, rod and reel combos with line already on them and everything. And there's like saltwater stuff, freshwater stuff. So Devin, I think we have to limit ourselves to one combo a piece. So I'll let you go first because you're the guest on the channel. Oh, you are the <laughs> boss, dude. I'm so glad you did that. I'm, I'm copping this. First off, the reel looks really nice. It's got what super the? big, oh, is that fluoro? And the court. This rod? That rod looks like it's from the 19... <laughs> before my dad was alive. What brand is this thing? It's a Pro, Pro Max 60. Yeah, a Pro Max. Have you ever heard of... No, I've heard of a Black Max. Dude, that's not bad. For 80 bucks, a rod and reel combo, and that reel looks like... No, dude. yeah, the reel looks like it's 80 bucks, and then you get this sick old school rod. Pretty much for free. Yeah, for free, essentially. I'm catching the biggest fish on that today, hands down. Check this out. There's a Shimano reel here, the FX4000, for only 25 bucks. You know how expensive Shimano's are? Don't say that out loud. They might up the price. I mean, the, we might have to bargain, is what I mean. <laughs> a Daiwa Crossfire 2500, like some really reputable brands here. Akuma is really good for like the saltwater. Dude, look at this old vintage Bass Pro. 
Look, you can tell by like the, the yellow packaging, the tiny light spinning reel. I don't know, dude. I want to catch a big fish, but- I saw that and I was like, that looks really You could really tell cool. just by the logo and like the packaging that that was probably in Bass Pro like years ago. Yeah. I guess I have to have a rod, right? Yeah, well, you could get one of these rods and then get one of those if get you one really of those. No matter what we choose, it's going to be good. Like there's so many good options. I'm like overwhelmed. I wish there was only like one good option that just was screaming at me. But I think what we got to do is just because this thing is so cool and I think it's going to be a little bit more tough if I hook like a five, six pounder on it is the tiny light. So like a little micro fishing reel right here. And it works perfect because I think this reel is kind of out of commission. So we could buy the rod here. It's like the smallest rod in the store too, like a micro combo. And then we even have like some, some micro lures in the car. Yeah, do a little bit of micro fishing. And then also I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw giant stuff on it too. I just wanna catch, it's the biggest fish challenge. So I'm bringing my A game. So Devin, I have a deal for you. You see all these cameras? Yeah. If you catch the biggest fish today, I'll buy you a new vlog. Camera you're buying a new channel. vlog camera for yes. my channel from here or just in general? Uh, You could do it from here or in general, right. but here there's no price range. So whatever the most expensive one is, you could get it if you wanted to. Oh yep. my <laughs> gosh. Uh, now I'm actually, now you got me in the mood now to actually- Now you to bring your A game. Dang it. And now I'm mad that I got the micro combo because I just saw the cameras here and I was like, I know you need a new camera. All I'm saying is you better catch a big fish, but I'm not confident. Dude, I've won every pawn shop challenge I've been a part of so far. So I'm just saying, bring I'm, that A I'm, game. I'm kicking your- <laughs> today. So I took that old reel off of here and while we were walking out, I didn't even realize what Devin went and picked it back up. The reel that came with it, the handle fell off in the parking lot. So this reel was not usable. So I wanted to show you guys before I like rigged everything up. The tiny light Bass Pro like combo, just like the little, I don't know, just the packaging. Like this thing's gotta be at least 20 years old. Like plastic doesn't turn this yellow unless it's been like 10, 20 years, I feel like, right? I mean, I think so. All right, so there's already a little case here. These are the worst packages of all time. <laughs> what I like about this too is it's old, but brand new at the same time. That so looks, like- dude, can I touch that? Yeah, you can touch it. What? <laughs> the question is, will it fit on the rod that I got? And I think it will. Oh yeah, we're cooking. Brand new reel. It's probably been in the packets for however long. This is the first time it's ever gonna be fished with. And dude, the, the gold on it too. It's I like, know, it's, sick. it's shiny. It's smooth. It's a good feeling reel. It's just when a big fish bites on like this like little flimsy combo and the- uh, Oh, that looks like it's gonna <laughs> be- Oh, uh... it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> One pounders are gonna have me going for a ride. <laughs> but guys, we're gonna do all the boring stuff, put line on this and rig up. And this is cool too, because we can fish with whatever lures we want because the pond shop did not have lures. So guys, we finally have the rod and reel rigged up with line. And I wanted to show you guys what lure I'm using in the sponsor of today's video, Carl's Fishing and Outdoors. So you guys know I've been working with Carl's for years and years and years now. And I love all the selections of lures they have on their websites, but specifically today, I think I'm gonna start with the Biospawn Exopod. It's just like a little craw, but it doubles as like a beautiful chatterbait trailer. Devin, what are you gonna be throwing today? I'm throwing the uh, Biospawn Rattle Trap thing. I don't... Or, yeah, the, it's, the, it's the Rattle Bot. The yeah. Rattle Bot is what it's called, yeah. Guys, I caught an absolute stud on this last time through. It was like almost eight pounds, right at eight pound range. So that's what I got today. Since I figured little, I got the micro, you know, it's like a smaller little exopod. I love like the, uh, it's like the Okeechobee craw color, oh, the green and the color. blue on the back. And we're just going to rig it up on a Texas rig here. Guys, it's going to be linked down below. And if you sign up for Carl's Club memberships, you get like 30% off your bait and tackle on top of already the crazy savings. So I'm a Carl's Club member. I recommend you guys do the same if you buy like a lot of tackle. And uh, eventually those savings are just going to compound on top of each other. It makes so much more sense than going to like a store or anything like that. Just getting all your lures. You can pick out the exact color and stuff you want. You know when they're in stock. Yeah, but that's my rig for today on the Pawn Shop Combo. Thank you once again to Carl's Fishing and Outdoors for sponsoring today's video. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started fishing. All right, guys, time to make our first cast with the Pawn Shop <laughs> little combo here. I'm already seeing beds. But uh, I think it's a little bit too late in the season for there to actually be bass on beds. So we might we might get lucky today and find something. And this will be the perfect little bed fishing bait. Dogs are barking. All we need is lawn equipment and 30 mile an hour winds. And today is going to be amazing. Oh my gosh, this thing cast. Oh, this is going to suck. Because <laughs> these lawn. Oh no. Do you have, um, dude, I'm still going to zip tie all my, I think it's hysterical how they had a $15 combo zip tied so it wouldn't be stolen. <laughs> what is it? Like the little tag ends? No, they, someone like, this is like a homemade. Yeah. So they like tried to decorate it with like line, like braid. And every time this goes out, it catches it and takes more off of it. Oh jeez! Just so you know, the total of the whole entire challenge too, it was 130 bucks for these two combos. So I didn't want to say it in the store because they were being nice and letting us film, but we definitely kind of got ripped off. I feel like, like the prices on this stuff is super high. All right, guys, I have to literally take all 
of these little strands off that someone put on here because they're getting caught on the line every single time I cast and starting to go down in the combo, which is not good. Here's your pliers. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna <laughs> need that. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. You got a big one? Dude, <laughs> I can't tell. It's on the micro light combo. <laughs> no way, dude. Dude, really? he's pulling drag, but my drag, I don't think it's set. <laughs> it's a brand new. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was literally swimming it in to come to talk to you. Guys, Devin's combo is out of commission, and mine is meanwhile just catching giants. It's so much fun reeling them on the micro light, dude. Yeah, I bet. I wonder what that's going to be like. <laughs> Hey, I gave you first pick though. I did. You had the opportunity. Oh my gosh, dude! If the fish this size is fighting this hard, I don't even want to see. Dude, look at him just pulling. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy cow, dude! He's still putting up a fight. Come here, come here, baby. Let's go. It's a butterball, dude. Boat flip. Okay, it's not strong enough to boat flip. <laughs> Dude, let's go. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's a giant. He's just a chunky little butterball. Should I weigh him just for fun? Just so we have an official weight? We do have a vlog camera on the line, guys. Well, guys, Devin is having a lot of real trouble. We do. We spent $130 and to have stuff like not working. But this fish, dude, actually was bullying me. I got him in as quick as I could. I am like scared to see what an actual like Giant. unit can do. Yeah, like if we, because this is probably only like, yeah, two and a half pounds. You were swimming it? 2.51. Yeah, I was finishing up my cast because I was going to try to come help you with your rod and reel. Yep, 2.5, 2.46, 2.49. Yeah, I went between 2.49 and 2.51. We'll call her a 2.5. Just keep it easy and memorable. All right, guys. Well, my first fish, a 2.5 pounder. Super fat. Ate the little exopod. See you, buddy. Yeah, I was just dragging it. I felt like a ton of almost like shells out there, which is weird. It's like, yeah, like everywhere. Uh, it's not like mud. It's weird. And I was dragging it through that. Nothing happened reeling it up and then it was like and i was like yes <laughs> dude the thing about my rod and reel it is so sensitive like i can feel everything well guys that's a good feeling we got one on here and the fight was honestly probably the most fun i've ever had fighting a two and a half pounder like i might keep this combo for a long time and just use it all the time it was intense I almost felt like I was red fishing, dude. It looked like a red fish was just like, Doo. you know what? You know what we'll do later today? If we have time, I'll let you try reeling like a fish in on this one. Just to like feel the, the tog. Oh, so you're saying I'm not gonna, all right. I got you, watch this. I'm about to catch a five pounder right here. This cast, come on, please look cool. Please look cool for the camera. Guys, I'm actually loving this combo. It can cast really far. I just have 15 pounds straight braid, no fluorocarbon leader. The water out here is like kind of stained, so I don't think it matters too much, especially if I'm not fishing with like 50 or 60 pound braid. Just got bit off the rip. And it's just such a subtle little action they can't handle. There's little two uh, trailers. It's not like as big as a craw. It's like a little bit more finessey, but I feel like it just catches more fish, like more numbers than like a big old craw would. And it, but it can still catch giants. Dude, I need a micro light fish more. Yeah, was that, I mean, it's fun. It's not like you're just horsing them in, it's. Yeah, that two and a half pounder with a regular combo with a muscle rod, have it in 10, 15 seconds. I also can't cast this thing far at all. Look at all that bait, holy cow. Dude, there's a massive school of bait right there. Like hundreds of them. Where the dragonflies flying? It's about 90 billion bait. Oh, I'm just gonna throw my lure in there and got one, got one. Oh, dude, he's pulling drag. Dude, they, they pull drag every time. I can't tell, dude. <laughs> I was trying to reel my cast up, guys. Oh, dude, it might be big. Devin, just come here. Just in case, I can't tell, dude. It's a micro light combo. I don't, oh, he popped off. Wait. Oh my God. Dude, it was a giant. You saw the swirl? Oh my, dude, I think I just lost like a seven or eight pounder. Dude, I knew as soon as I did it, cause I was like, nah, no shot. I got a, a fish right here in the middle. I didn't set the hook good. Cause it's like a flimsy rod. Guys, I just lost a absolute giant. And he was, he was hanging out on the right side of this big school of fish. Dude, I'm telling you, man, it was giant. 
like huge the, the boil I, I was like okay I he's fighting like the two and a half but the boil made me think yeah no i saw the boil <sighs> Dude, this little extra pod is getting wrecked. Dude, I can't believe that, man. That was a big one. I am so mad at myself. Dude, ah, oh, that hurts so bad, man. That was actually a giant. I, it's, it's really hitting home right now. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that I've caught, guys. I've caught a couple nines and eights out of this pond and uh, heard of like a, a couple 10 pluses being caught out of here. And I, you know, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but... <laughs> No, I mean, it's hard to tell on a brand new combo. I would have been able to judge way better if it was on a bait caster, but I'm just, he did not feel small. I should have been pre more prepared right by that bait. I should have just known. Good news is guys, there's more of them in here. <laughs> Normally we catch, you know, four and five pounders and that's pretty cool, but that was, uh, that was trophy potential. I definitely feel like, oh yeah, this is by this time guys, the subscriber tournament has gone out. This is a lake where my subscriber caught his PB. Actually, both of them caught their PBs here. Got him, got him. He's not he's not that big, I don't think, but you know, look at <laughs> Dude, look at like it's all swimming action. It's not hopping, but this one feels way smaller than the last one. Like, oh, it's still a good one though. <laughs> Dude, let's go. Dude, there's so much fun to fight on this thing. This one might be an upgrade for my last. No, oh yeah, oh he's definitely an upgrade. I just got a good look at him. Dude, look at how hard they, they pull. Dude, he's just oh. pull and drag. <laughs> I can't pull him any harder. <laughs> Dude. I'm telling you, man, uh, we might have to switch combos eventually. Just because I want you to feel the fight on the micro rod. Like, uh, and I kind of want to see, like, that thing's going to horse him in. This, like, you have no control. You literally hand the driver's license to the fish. Dude, there's, there's, another fish with, there's another fish with him. Dude, they, I've never seen him feeding like this. That's a cool, look at this. I got him. Oh. <laughs> Here, I'll leave him in the water. I'll leave him in the water. Here, I'm leaving him in the water for you. <laughs> Devin, if I lose this fish. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Just cast right in there. I don't see him anymore. Don't see him Dang it. <laughs> All right, I might land my fish. Yeah, land him. Okay, okay. <laughs> here he comes. Dude, they are all so fat in here. It's weird. I've never seen this much bait fish activity. No, and they are chasing. Yeah, they're really chasing. I don't know. We just might have hit it on the right day. Dude, it's a fat one. That's like, it's it's a giant. Yeah. And dude, this one felt like so much smaller than that last really? one. Like, dude, when he bit it and he was fighting, I could just, I could tell like the weight difference was. Yeah, he's three and a half, probably right at, he's close to four, I bet. Oh, we're in kilograms somehow? Dude. All right, this one is a three. Three seven, but dude, I think the way they're feeding, this is still way beatable. Like if you hook the one that oh, I had, yeah, dude, definitely. I mean, it's just game over. There's some giants eating guys and they're schooling. Like I've never seen them school before. We haven't even started really walking the pond and uh, <laughs> giant, see you girl. Dude, it's so much fun too. Cause they already fight hard enough in here. But yeah. on that, like I, you saw, I was pulling and he was just zzz, 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 zzz. guys, how this thing swims too? this little exopod. Just looking at it through the water, it kind of kicks just like how a bluegill's tail is split like this. A bluegill coming through the water like that just kind of swims his tail and it's like perfect little bluegill colors. And we've seen schools of like, I don't think it's shad. It looks like uh, just like really big minnows. And this kind of does a great job of looking just like it. So, you know, I'll hop it a little bit like a dying one, then I'll rush it in and give it some weird erratic action. And it seems like every time I just switch it up mid cast is when they bite. Like it's always when you least expect it. Oh, there's, look at the bait yep. coming up over there. I'm trying to get out there. I just. Oh, what did I just do? Dude, we might not have to move spots all day. We can sit here for the next four hours. <laughs> oh, north, oh north, my north, gosh. North, north. Dude, it looks big. Oh! oh! No, I, I owe you a vlog camera. I, I'm done. I'll, I'm jumping in the water. I know the routine. Oh Norm, my Norm, guys. Please do not come on. This is probably like one of the ones that I miss. Norm. No, dude, dude. <laughs> it's giant, dude. That's that's almost PB status. Dude, it's giant, Devin. bro. He's taking me for a ride. Dude, keep him on, keep him on. Please don't lose this fish. We can't lose two big ones. Oh, he's barely hooked, Devin. He's barely hooked. Don't horse him too hard. All right. Okay. All right. 
See if you could turn them to me. I just bought these shoes, Devin. Dang it, <laughs> dude, he's Dang pulling. It. Dude, it's a giant. He's Devin, Devin, no, Devin. No, no, no. Right, he wants to go. He just gotta let him go. Let him do his thing. If I grab the line, he could shake the hook and have the momentum to do it. So. Let me just give her the old tummy. I got oh. her. You're good. You're good. Don't even stress it. I got you, girl. And Devin caught a freaking <laughs> giant. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh. Don't get hooked. I got some work to do. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, oh. I had another one that size bite. No, I, I like, saw I'm, I promise. There is it was giants in the same spot. Feeding. No, it was in the same it's spot. same exact spot. Dude, there's giants eating all this bait right there. Oh. We, I don't know why they're pushed on this side of the lake. Normally we get bites like guys where you can't even see way down there. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm that calling. Is... I'm calling. I'm hoping eight, but I'm going to call seven. I can't even get this in right now. My heart is racing. Bro, it's so much cooler that we got it on a busted pawn shop like Rod and Reel. I'm telling you, I think there's like this size fish is schooling right here. What's she reading? Seven, three, seven, four, seven, five, seven, four. Seven, Dude, seven four, and a half bro. pounder. Oh <laughs> my God. Oh, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh bro, yeah. What? Come on, Devin, fish bump, bro. Come on. Dude, you caught, I, I guarantee you caught this fish earlier and he just shook it. Dude, I think there's multiple out there like this one. Like I think <sighs> there, there's weird bait activity going on and I think all the big ones are moved up yeah, right here. chasing it. Yeah. Exactly what they're doing. Holy bro, cow. let's get a couple pictures dude yes for we're gonna get a couple instagram pictures uh i still feel like i'm in this so i've already hooked a big one it's only been like 30 minutes but 7-4 is gonna be hard to beat but uh you know if devin pulls through and wins this thing to win the vlog camera um you know it's well earned <laughs> that is crazy shouts out to carl's bait dog guys all the lures we're using thank link you, down carl. below thank you thank you carl's <laughs> so i don't i can't even talk right now i thought he was gonna come off my rod was triple quadrupled five times over i don't know what to say right now like if we catch a 10 if you catch this on that yeah i'll give you your vlog camera back <laughs> I'm, i promise you if you were able to land a fish this size on that die you win i don't care <laughs> there she goes times, never seen it like this. let's go dude all right fish bump <sighs> yeah do that <laughs> we do we got more work to do it's you know, it's it's go time. They're, Dude, they're feeding. Busting out there they're right hungry. Now. They're in feeding mode. This might be a little bit of a post spawn type deal where they're feeding up, getting fat again. Yeah. Seven five, seven four. Seven four. That is gonna be hard to beat, but I'm not counting myself out. We got a couple hours and a couple plots to hit, so you set the tone though. You definitely set the and tone. I was just sitting here complaining, like, man, I haven't gotten bit. Like in my head, I was like, I need to change up. Yeah. And then my rod just tripled over. I didn't I just leaned into it. I was like, oh my god. I'm not joking you. My heart has not raced like that for a fish in a while. That's what's so fun about switching up the combo. It's not the typical stuff and mixing it up, doing like stuff that's way harder and catching a seven and a half pounder. Bro, it's like... so much more rewarding. Yeah, and dude, and it looks exactly like I was saying, I don't think they're shad. It's a little bit of a green and a little yep. bit of orange. So this is exactly what I caught in the same place we're fishing an eight on. It's like a seven, nine, eight. Yeah. And I haven't thrown it since then. And the first fish I catch it's is a giant. seven and a half. Like what, Carl's? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, code Norm10. Remember, code Norm10 saves you even extra money. I uh, I can't believe that happened. I'm just gonna stop talking about it and get back to fishing. Well, Devin, I guess I'll just leave my camera here in case that <laughs> happens again. Um, you know, I was mad because I lost the big one. I didn't know if it was gonna happen again. I'm happy that we got to see what's swimming right here, right here in our hands. Oh my gosh. Holy dude, I'm telling dude, they, I what is going on? We hit this on the weirdest, most right day I've ever Boy. seen. Bro, I've never seen them school. Like no. normally you gotta work for them. Which by the way, I don't know, what is your opinion on this costing 130 bucks? I think uh, that is a rip. Yeah, we got ripped off. Yeah, I didn't want to say it in the pawn store. It's trying to be nice and polite full, but. And honestly, like honestly, I thought some of them were fair value, but maybe it wasn't that bad. I just saw that price tag and for whatever reason, I was thinking like, oh, it's gonna be 80 bucks. But nah. Dude, the mine's like a slow swim on the bottom kinda. And then I speed it up, but it's like I, I'm making contact with bottom, bottom. while it's happening. At least when I've been bit, but you caught the big one. You're the I professional mean, you here. The first thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking, dude, that first one I hooked was probably around that, in that ballpark. It might have been that one, dude, like legitimately. It could have been. I think we're probably casting at probably 20 of them right here in the circle that are like, you know, around my size and your side, it's size, and maybe some bigger. And you got bit twice. Yeah. Right here too. And didn't even, like there's a, a surplus, like a fish that have moved to this side of the lake. It's weird how much confidence I have in this pawn shop combo now, like after just seeing this stuff happen. 
feel like I'm fishing a freaking the Bass Master class. Look at the sensitivity on the tip of this while I'm just swimming it. Dude, this thing is, oh wow, there's a huge school of bait where you just cast Yeah, it. I saw him, little, little flutter action. Oh, <laughs> I'm feeling, oh, <laughs> yes, tree fish. I am feeling, dude, the sun is getting me. Yeah, it's beating right now, dude. I am like, I feel like I just ran a marathon. Maybe I'm just getting old. All right, guys, so we're making the walk down the lake. I'm not seeing as much bait, but I think where the wind blows, it kind of goes and makes a weird uh, like turn down here. And maybe there's like more fish schooling down here. If we could just replicate that little area, we decided to give it like a little rest and we'll go back to it on the way back. But uh, there is like bait fish swimming on the, on the bank right here, but not like a ton of it. Where's that big dark? Okay, that's a palm tree shadow. I saw that big dark <laughs> shadow and now, now I'm just like, my eyes are on the prize. I'm looking for them bait fish. Dude, if we walk all the way down here and don't catch anything, that tells us like we got to go switch baits over there and just keep trying yeah, different just try stuff. Yeah, a bunch of different stuff. If we don't catch anything over here, or even have a bite. I know that this first little grass point to your right, I came here, there was a couple pushed up on it, like a couple big ones. Got one, got one. Norm. Oh my Norm. gosh, dude. Norm. Is he good? He's not coming up. He, he's head shaking. <laughs> oh, it's another big one, dude. It's not as, like, as no. big as your other one, but it's still a but giant. They bro, out they here. Are, the giants are eating. Oh, dude, bro, he, he's, he's he has one hooked. barb. Yeah, one barb. He's barely hooked. It's like a five pounder. Oh my gosh. I yeah. don't want to turn him. Yeah, dude, he's barely on there. <sighs> How'd he stay on here? Oh my gosh, oh, bro, Devin. He's running oh my god. It's bigger than I thought it was, Devin. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. Don't you hook me. Get him on, dude. Oh my gosh. Barely had her hooked. Oh my god. Five pounder all day. Yeah. Yeah, that's five all day. Oh yeah. Got the scale. Dude, I I might like every fish is bit on a moving bit. You might be on to something, man. We might have to do a little. Lure, I might have to do a little lure switch up here. But we got all the way to the other end of the lake, guys. It's been like 30, 45 minutes. Legit, four, nine, six. Four, uh, five pounder. Five pounder, yeah, we're yeah. going to five pounder. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Dude, how was spawn fishing turned into almost the best day of fishing we've ever had? Dude, like, this is my best day of fishing all year, so far. <laughs> Hands down, my best day of fishing dude, all year so far. This is crazy, dude. Giant, hey, dude, fish bump, come on. Let's go, Let's come on. Back in the water. Thanks for biting, big gal. You took me for a ride. Ugh. Five yonder. Good stuff. Let's go. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, man. What the What was I on? <laughs> what was that? You scared the hell out of me. I scared me, too. Dude, I was like on somebody's fishing line or something. Was it just running? Yeah, like, I think it was just rubbing on the side of somebody's fishing line, would be my best guess. I really don't. I can't explain to you what happened there because I just don't know. You got him? Oh, dude, that was 100% her. Pulled it right out of her mouth. Yeah, I got knocked hard, bro. That's what I'm saying. They're like barely hitting it. It's like a cracking craw right here. No white what? color. What'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? There's a crack and craw on the white colored slant in the water right here. Pretty big one. Er. Wait, I got one. I got one. I got a really bad hook set. <laughs> really? Stay on. No, oh, I knew it, dude. I thought it was a rock. It. I knew that I didn't have them good. <laughs> There's a big like craw in the water there, guys, that somebody had like used before. You know when like lures are left in the water, they inflate. So I was like sitting there just touching it with my rod tip, messing around. Got cranked. But it's okay. That was like a two and a half, three. At least we were able to see that one. I could tell off the hook set though, I was not going to land them. You, when you have a, ooh, I got another one. Yep. Oh, dude, my drag slipped. I got them. Next guess. Next, dude, try to get your lure in there. They might be stacked right here on this point. <gasps> he is running. I don't, dude, I don't know if I got a good hook set in this one either. I need to tighten my drag. <sighs> he's running. <laughs> I can't bro. control him. I don't think he's big though, even though he's running me all the way over here. I'm just steady reeling. 
He spit it again. He spit it again. I've lost so many fish on this pawn shop combo. Dude. Dang it. That was like a three and a half pounder. Just lost five and a half, six pounds of fish in literally 30 seconds. He hit it as soon as it hit yeah, the water too. Like, line okay, line, thing. drag, tight. She couldn't even control it. Like, I set the hook and my, my drag slipped. And, you know, you got to have that good hook set on a Texas rig. All right. So, guys, we got back to the truck. And before we go to spot number two, uh, because we got some big fish over here, I'm going to do a little bit of a lure switch up and go with the exo swims in the 3.25. This little dude right here looks exactly like the bait fish that I can see. They're like a little green, almost like they might be bluegill, but uh, this little paddle tail right here, little match the hatch. See if we can't get bit. Devin, you got Devin, one? I got one. <laughs> I don't know how big he is. We bought these like little rods and reels. Yeah, rod's pretty good. yeah we got them from the pawn shop today for like five bucks and we're trying them out just for fun. Oh, yeah. oh she's on there. And do I have a fish or is this a log? No, you're Before decent. I look you got dumb. a fish. This a fish? <laughs> Bro, you got. <laughs> <laughs> nice Thank you. It's a tree pounder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had you guys going for a second. I have myself going too. I think the whole time all the way up, I thought it was a fish. Wow. <laughs> that is embarrassing. That is hilarious. Better you than me. I was so ready to plug the subscribe button and then I reeled in a tree. <laughs> Dude, all the way up until here, I thought it was a fish for real. Like I so did I actually, because it like when you reeled it, it or when it like came up. Yeah, it was like going like this. <laughs> I was like, what? All right, you're ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. After that one? <laughs> yeah, I, I cannot be seen here ever again after that performance. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to spot number two. <laughs> guys, we are here at pond number two. So tossing that exo pot around, giving it a little yoink. You know, we just had to move after I hooked a tree. So <laughs> I told everybody that I was fighting a fish. So we're in another spot with giants. I still am in this, but my hook says I think I've missed in total four fish today like had them on and had them jump and spit the hook we got some catch up to do i tightened my drag i know that's been part of the problem but i think the drag on this reel like even all the way tight it, it like it'll still fail like it's all the way tightened and look guys the line is still pulling out it's um it's just not designed for catching big bass in the grass like I'll drag all the way tight the <laughs> line comes straight out so <laughs> every hook set when i set the hook and get my line tight it just completely pulls it out it's basically just telling the bass hey you're not eating something real every time i set the hook i might have to like hold my bail like this when i set it next time if i can remember it's crazy to think guys it's because of this reel even though it's brand new that i probably ended up losing you know a trophy florida large mouth if i get bit though i'm setting the hook and not letting my hand off this Norm, 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 Norm. No way. Norm. <laughs> Dude. Oh, stay down. You got her or you need me? Uh, I don't know yet. I got her. Let's go. Wow, this fish hit me like he was at least a three or four pounder. He's a pound and a half and he's gotten been eaten by something. There's a little gator in here that eats these fish. Thanks, man. Let's deal with this mess now. Holy cow. Guys, Devin is killing it. With that little rattle bot, man. I should have thrown. They're just eating. They're in that post spawn mode. They're not eating off the bottom too much. Oh, dude, I for dude, I did it again. I just got slammed, but I forgot to say. He's on it. Got him that time. Kept my fingers on the bail. Stay on, baby. Let's go. Thank goodness he came back for it, dude. It's the every time I set the hook, my drag it, is non functioning. <sighs> yeah, I have to hold my bail every time I, <laughs> I set the hook, and I forgot to. It's like instinct. I feel the bite. I set the hook. Oh, yeah, baby. Come here. It's not a giant, but we'll take it. I've like learned the method now with this rod and reel. Oh, thank you so much for coming back. It felt like a giant, too, guys. Like, all of them feel huge. But I knew as soon as he jumped that he wasn't anything that crazy. Oh, she's bleeding. I didn't even hook her that bad. All right, well, there she is. You know, let her go. Well, guys, that's my third fish. I just need to catch a giant to, uh, 
to beat Devin, but pond number two already is looking good. We both had bites the first three casts. So guys, the strategies today have been completely different from me and Devin. Devin has been throwing the Rattlebot, moving it along the edge of the grass, like super quick, steady retrieve. What I've been doing is I've kind of been like picking apart little grassy areas with the exopod, letting it sink, working it kind of slow. And then as soon as I'm done working an area I think a fish is gonna be at, then I'll just reel it in. But it seems like more times than not, I'm getting bit on the reel in. Do I? Oh, I thought I had one already. <laughs> but I'm getting bit on the reel in instead of like little spots where they should be hiding out. Like, so I think the fish, their attitude today is they're just, they're moving around, they're eating food. And those are some of the best days you can fish is right after the spawn. Like uh, for us in Florida, I mean, it's early May and they are just in post-spawn, just feeding up, getting fat because they lost all that weight after they laid their babies. Oh, I do feel like if you could swim that thing out there though, still like some, some way, somehow, it could get freaking cranked. Got him. Oh, let's go, Devin. <laughs> oh. Are you on? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. Oh, get out of that. Let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got my phone in my pocket. I got my phone in my pocket. No. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we know there's giants in here, so like I'm happy I caught this, but yeah. Thanks for thanks for getting the skunk off the board. Dude, that was like second cast here. Just right on that grass ledge. Yes, yeah, I mean that's how they're biting the other day. So that is my number one tip to any fisherman: is throw on the grass. You know what I mean? That's facts. Where there is structure, there is bass. All right, folks. Well, the pawn shop challenge wasn't interesting. Would I call it a success? Yes and no. <laughs> Devin got a giant, multiple giants. Yeah. I still caught some big ones, but in comparison, it like did not even compare. So no better way for me to have to buy you a brand new camera uh -huh. than uh to basically lose that way. So it's not I'll fair though, because your drag was Yeah, but your your rod, the line was wrapping up. But I did have guys probably today, like nine or ten fish, and I just every time I hooked one, I was just like, I yep, he's He's gone. But first, as I hooked him, I was like, I'm going to lose this fish in 15 seconds. That first fish you had that yeah. flashed on the side was right there with my biggest fish. Yeah. And we just if, don't know. The boil was was enormous, and I think they were grouping up. So I definitely had like a game winner on today. Yeah, Pawn Shop was so much fun, guys. Leave a like on this video. Ow. If you guys want to see more Pawn Shop challenges like the bow fishing we were talking about, or drop some comments down below. What could we do at like a pawn shop or a thrift shop you guys would be interested in? We're worn out. It's hot, so we're going to... I any last words? think... I just don't know why I have this very bad gut feeling that they're going to hit that 10,100 whatever oh, light goal from the beginning. The light goal. And I'm going to be worn out from push-ups. So. <laughs> Guys, if you can do that, it'd be awesome. And also not do that, that would also be awesome. Thank you so much for the support. It's uh, it's really been nuts, like just seeing the growth of the channel. So I just want to thank everybody who's new, everybody who's been here from the start. So yeah, I'm rambling on. This camera's getting heavy. We need some water. So uh, see you guys very soon. Until the next fishing adventure, Fish Bump. I'm out. Apple Watch? What is this? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think that's Apple Watch. That might be Android Watch. <laughs> Wait, do that, do, that, do that one more time. I don't know if it's going to do it again. I'm kind of scared. Bro <laughs> Guys, I just tried to clean my hands and I just got squirted on the face. <laughs>